Hello friends, I am Vinay Mote, nature and wildlife photographer and today I am going to talk about how changing distance between subject and your camera changes the depth of field. We saw in previous video that depth of field is depend on aperture. Now the next field the depth of field depends on is subject to the distance. So in order to demonstrate this concept I am gonna use few diagrams and at the end we will see some examples as well. So let's get started. All right, so as we are talking about depth of field, let's discuss what are the other parameters that affects depth of field. So as you saw in this image, subject to distance is another parameter, another parameter which affects depth of field. If you change the subject to distance, depth of field changes as well. So let's take example and see changing subject to distance and we will see how it affects depth of field. So if you have more subject to distance, it results in more depth of field. And if you have less subject to distance and subject is very closer, then you get very less depth of field. So we're going to use the same setup and we're going to change only distance to subject, keeping aperture and other parameters same. So we're going to keep aperture at f2.2 and, and for first shot, we're going to use 200 centimeter as camera to subject distance. So this is how it looks like and we are focusing on center dinosaur with 200 centimeter we get depth of field of around 8.47 centimeter if we increase this distance to 300 so we gone far and our depth of field has increased as well and as you notice we kept the focal length of the lens as same as 70 mm if you go further far away to 400 centimeter depth of field increased to around 34 centimeter and you can see all objects almost clearly visible so this same applies when the distance gets less. So if you move from 400 centimeter to 300 centimeter, which is less uh, distance, in that case, you'll see that depth of field has reduced as well. So if you go further close, the depth of field again reduces a lot. That's the effect of changing subject to camera distance. If you go close, your depth of field is narrow. If you go far, you get more depth of field. Alright, I hope you understood the concept of changing distance between subject to camera changes the depth of field. And that's all in this video. In next video, I'm going to talk about how changing focal length of your lens, assuming that you got variable length lens, changing that focal length changes the depth of field as well. So if you like this video, you can subscribe here or you can register on my website vinaymote.com. Thanks for watching.